You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, goddammit! Get the point. Good. And now... Fendum. You all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. And guess what? It is a wacka, 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 wacka doodle Wednesday out here in Grammy land. And probably, well, maybe in your neck of the woods as well. You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 10. Also on the RLM Spreaker Channel, the RLM TuneIn Radio Station, the RLM Internet Radio Station, and lots of other RLM and num places. I think there's RLMRadio.xyz as well. Um, all kinds of places that you could be listening in. And if you're listening in, you already know at least one of them that you're listening in on. <laughs> And by the way, if you are listening in on the Spreaker channel, just a reminder, as if everybody that's usually listening to me knows, I got tin can, duct tape, and string for internet. So if you're listening on Spreaker, come on over to reallibertymedia.com. Think of a nickname, join the chat, give me some static, and I'll give it back. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, it's radio has static anyway, doesn't it? (laughs) <laughs> okay, so taking a ride on a Wednesday. We actually had a pretty nice Wednesday out here in Grammy Land. Um, I'm very tickled with the weather. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but where is my where is my volume control? It looks like my volume is rather low. Just a second here. Let me check. No, well, let's see, let's see, see if that helped it any, yeah, that brought it up a little bit, okay, so, probably would help if I'd put the mic a little bit closer too, but I don't want to be breathing heavy on you, <sighs> not yet, it's too hot, <laughs> oh well, let's see, let's start off where we're at, hi QT and on, Independence Day is awesome, bring in the tanks, I have I've seen the movie. Can't wait to see the alien attack. Ah, okay. I will be spending Independence Day more than likely inside with my doggies because they do not like all the boom, boom, booms. So, yeah. And I can't say as I blame them because where I live, pretty much there's very few, excuse me, hiccup little ones around. So, um... Yeah, there's a lot of boom, boom, booms. And so my little female doggie, she tries to hide under the bed. And the male doggie comes up and just kind of quivers. And that's not usual for Bubba. Bubba's a Bubba's normally in attack mode because a butterfly farted. Although, you know, it's the tail that's going to get you because it's wagging. But that's beside the point. In any case, yeah, 4th of July, nah. I will be spending some time at my uncle's painting. (laughs) And then the rest of the time I will be inside with my doggies, I'm sure. In any case, over here on Twitter, thank you, Barman, for letting everybody know that I am live and in poison. I truly do appreciate it. Over here on Facebook, I don't know if I'm in Facebook jail or not. Because I tried to post something on the Tartaria site... And it has this little error thingy. And I have not had any kind of notifications or anything since that. (laughs) Imagine that. I got, I'm a naughty girl. Oh, shock, shock. Um, What is this? Dear Demon Craps, stop telling us what Americans want. We already voted for what we want. Ah, voting doesn't help, David. Sorry. Sorry. My brother Fudd is over here. Um, other than that, I really don't see a whole hell of a lot of activity because I think I'm in Facebook jail. <laughs> not not real obvious Facebook jail, but yeah. Yeah, not letting me post anything. That's a kind of jail, isn't it? They're giving me the silent treatment. Oh, well. 
over here on realliberty.org, which is a pretty freaking awesome alternative to fakey book. Um, I see Grimner is over here as well as Bob Renner. And thank you, Grimmy, for letting everybody over here know that I am live and in poison over here on Minds. Once again, thanks, Grim and Barman, for letting everyone know over here I am live and in person. Uh, let's see. Flashers did an awful lot of voting up a lot of my activity. Hmm. Hi, Br uh, Bobluski. <laughs> Bobluski over here on Minds. Like my last show. So, thank you, Bobluski. Um. Well, you know, fake book is, is, I wonder if their algorithms are finally catching up with them. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm getting to that point, Free Enslaved. I really am. I mean, it's been very nice because th the family keeps up with each other. We have a family page on fake book. And so... You know, that's how we keep up on everybody's conditions. Because we are of that age. <laughs> I always used to laugh at my aunts and uncles when we had family reunions. And when it got closer to the evening, they all got out their pill bottles because it was time to take their pills. And they started comparing who was on the most amount of pills. And I'm wondering if that's where my family's going. Although, I'm not taking any. Except for maybe vitamins every once in a while. But yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Okay, where was I at? Yeah, over here on Mines. Hi, Voluntary Ed. Um, da -da -da -da. So I've been to Mines, to Twitter, to Facebook, to RealLiberty.org, In The Matrix. Hi, everybody over here on In The Matrix. I see Perplexity is sharing things as well as uh, Revelation Equation and uh, Queued Up are all sharing stuff over here and let's see i think that's all of nope freedoms network that effing site that awesome place where estrella comes to play and she shares some pretty freaking fun stuff let me tell you and thank you grim over here for letting everybody know i'm live and in poison um i also see that mark 63 was on for a little while as well as bob renner Dun, dun, dun. And now it's time to go to the place where you need to be if you're going to give me some static when you misread a sign. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I got to share this one over in the RLM because that's just too freaking funny. Yeah, I misread it. <laughs> I'll admit it right off the bat. I misread that sign. <laughs> okay over here in the rlm right up top i see barman the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world closely followed by beetle hi beetle Is pippy in your lap you listening in or are you having supper i also see grimner the rlm god don't you know um is there a tune-in channel for me what um oh cool sweet uh da -da, did someone oh there you go tune in radio station awesome sauce thank you rob works uh let's see where was i at grimner moose coil hey moose coil oh my god girlfriend i shared a um i messaged you a comedian um that i was actually spending quite a bit of time listening to today um because <laughs> I was just plain not in the mood to investigate and dig into and all that other fun stuff. And so Drew Lynch, oh my Lord, that child is funny. He stutters really, really bad. And I mean, it's not really, really bad, but he does have a stutter that kicks and he works it, works with it in his stand-up comedy routine. And oh my Lord, this guy is flipping hilarious. Well, at least in my humble opinion, he's flipping hilarious. So yeah, yeah, go check out. Um, matter of fact, let me just, because I think this is the last one. Um, is this the one I want to share or is it? Um, no, I'll do, I'll do the one that I, that I did to, well, wait a minute. Um, wow, I got a quick clicker tonight. Uh, this is the one that I messaged to Moosey. He's talking about uh, cheese curds and wondering if that's Wisconsin porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's really pretty funny. Um, in any case, where was I at? Moose Coil. I see some backward brackets DC here as well as Anti and Asmo and the lovely Beth Z is also logged into the chat. There's some Chalsa Denis going on and hey, free enslaved, how you doing, sweetheart? I also see I'm here as well as I be Don C. Java, 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 Dr. Two is also in the house as well as Meister Brower and the Ponder Gander, which is Vinny's alter ego. For those of you that don't know, I know I spilled the beans, but that's okay. I picked them all up. I rinsed them out in my colander, and I'm going to cook them up. Well, not tonight. It's too freaking hot. Okay. Kate, the lovely Miss Kate, is here, as well as Rob Woikes. And Rob, did you fire up the bubbler, or am I just, um, what is that? Lens on my tech tray. Rome's is raising his hand. Hi, Rome's. I see you. Um... Did you fire the... Yes, he did. Rob Works fired up the bubbler. Bless you. Bless you, darling. Even though it's just a cybernetic high, it still works for me. I also see Rome's is here, as well as the lovely Miss Vanna White, the loveliest bot in the channel, as well as Vinny Vrazy. Vinny Vrazy. Vinny Vrazy. All right, Vinny. Damn, dude. And looky there, we got a weather dork going on. I, ne I have not called upon the weather dork bot. Because I already know it's hot out here. <laughs> I do not need to call on the weather dork to let me know. Uh oh, Pippi wants out. I put my doggies outside, but I do have a sprinkler going so that if they get a little bit warm and their doghouse is nice and cool because it's in the shade. So, yeah. Um, but my doggies are outside because if they're inside, then they talk all the time. And I don't know that that would be a whole hell of a lot better than what I'm doing right now. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Hi, Woodman! Damn, double dose of Meister Brower going on. We also got a Phantom in here. Hey, Phantom, thank you once again for my awesome intro. And Well Then is also in the chat, as well as the Cyborgian Noodle. May you be touched by a Cyborgian noodliness. Frumpy is here, and looky there, we got some Goobrazilla as well, and some Gromit going on. JJ's, no, 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 JJ's. Hi, sweetheart, how's Scotland? I hope it's not near as warm as it is here um we got a double kiss going on and the bottom one has an underscore i'm wondering if that's really getting after it <clears throat> got some pom 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 sauce also in the chat as well as sock puppet hi sock and a smataz that's another one of them bots that not 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 exactly as sharp as crayon in a box but <laughs> Kind of entertaining. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, what? <laughs> I love that name. Just got to tell you, I, that's so fun to say. What? Of course, I'm easily entertained, so there you go. And Vinny, if you're listening, there you go. I just said easily. Uh, what is that? Stay tuned for the next episode when Pippi discovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so witty. Oh, and I'm just here just blabbering. Just blabbering. What is this? I got a notification. Oh, yeah. Jeff Daughtry. He was live with Twin Flames versus Reptilian Psychic. Hmm. Very interesting. Sorry, Jeff. Couldn't listen. Getting ready for the radio. Okay, so I'm going to go to one that Vinny actually sent to me, um, or actually recommended that I read it. But I'm also looking at um, a couple of the links off to the side, and they look rather interesting as well. There's uh, one in the homeschooling section, and actually two in the homeschooling section, and then one in self-study plans. Who is the Rothschild family, and what is their history? His story. Does this family control the world? Are they Illuminati? I actually watched some stuff the other day on, you know, conspiracy and secret, um, secret groups and all that other fun stuff. And man, oh man, you can tell that was put out by the narrative group. Wow. It, it was a real letdown. Although, why was I let down? Because, eh. It was on Amazon Prime. So, really? Really? Oh, well. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go with this. With this. 
uh, what? No one has a plan to cancel student debt. They have a plan to transfer debt to people who never agreed to receive the loans. Thank you, Tomcat. I do like that one. Yeah, they keep saying that they're going to cancel student debt, but yeah, they're bullshit. Bullshit. They want to keep you in debt forever. Indentured servitude. That's what that is. In any case, I had to have a sip of water. Um, thank you, Vinny, from hubpages.com in their educational, I mean educational section. This may actually be educational. Um, and it was by Cagsol. Cagsol. Okay, Cagsol. Your individual perception is vital to creating peace in your surroundings. So are you a people watcher? Because as a people watcher, it is a pleasure to give you a perception of events. Huh. Apparently, people watchers have the best perception. Well, I will raise my hand right here and now. I have not read this yet because I saw the headline and I went, Oh, that's a cool one, Vinny. Thank you. And I think I actually thanked him for it when he initially posted, I think, last Friday. Um, but I didn't want to read it because y'all know how I am. If I read it first, and I really screw shit up. So, I read it live and then I screw shit up because <laughs> that's how I roll don't you know so there's two separate types of people those who walk through life with blinders and those who walk seeing everything life has to offer it's easy to say that because in my life's experience I've also come to learn that those two types of people can be put into a separate category as well those who watch people and those who don't. So those who do so get the enrichment of seeing someone and learning from them. Like, <laughs> okay, get, yeah, I'll hold your beer and watch this. <laughs> Ooh, even without meeting them, which, yeah, I have, I have learned many life lessons from watching other people that I have no idea who they are, but damn, that looks like it's going to leave a mark. Mm-hmm. Now, there are lots of people who will just sit in a seat just to watch what happens to be going on around them. Now, this is very smart, really. Hmm. If you go to one, one or two specific places more often than others. Ah. And those who don't bother to watch others walk blindly into events or chance meetings with others without knowing anything about those who are around them. Hmm. Now, what many people fail to realize is the risk that they are taking with their life. Unlike people watchers who see things coming and expect anything at any given point, the reason for that would be because they have discerned the truth about the person through watching their actions. So realize life is yours to discern truth from. It's your duty to yourself. Thus, you protect your life in many aspects. Yeah, and that way you can go, I saw that one coming. Now, we as individuals have the ability to discern truth from our life, and with that comes the ability to engage others on an honest level. However, those who watch others, a.k.a. people watchers, are in the best position to see things from an objective stance, unlike those who do not watch others, who have subjective perspectives or perceptions. Now, the main reasoning behind understanding people watchers is to realize that they have the unique ability to pay closer attention to specific details other than people or or about other people than more normal or average people do. And it is important to see that is possible versus your present view. Well, yeah, well, I am a people watcher. I admit that. I, and sometimes it looks like fun. And so I go, hey, can I come play? <laughs> now, there's... Uh, there are there is many differences. No, sweetheart, grammatical error there. There really oh, never mind. There's difference between those who watch others and the ones who do not bother. Those who do not bother do not see subtle hints for which 
uh, could save them time, energy, and effort. Not to mention many abusive people and their intentions. And there are many men, unlike women, who are complete sexist, arrogant, egotistical rejects. And they make society more dangerous than safe. Wow, it went there, huh? Hmm. So, from a distance or off to the side, people watchers get to learn about people without those people ever learning that they, are, they have learned something about them. Ah, it's like a covert stalking kind of thing. Okay. So, uh, the example is, I was sitting at a bar and having a drink after a long day of work. The bar happened to be quite busy, and I was able to see multiple things happening in different areas of the bar. On the back pool table, there were four, two men and two women, um, taking turns shooting, and there wasn't a seat available anywhere at the main bar, which holds 48 seats. There was a few groups of people sitting together, and there were several who were just sitting to have a drink and play Keno and watch sports on TV. Keno, what is Keno? I've never played Keno. I've, I've had people tell me, oh, I was playing Keno. What the hell is Keno? I mean, I'm asking it now because I really don't want to know, but because <laughs> it's like this is radio, and if you answer me in the chat, you answer me in the chat. But if you don't, it's no big deal. It's not like my life will come to an end because I have no freaking clue what Kino is. Back to the article. Now, these types of people are your individual gamblers and power drinkers. Oh, now I know power drinkers. I know power drinkers. Damn, they can slam those things back. I try to stay away from them. Now, you can see them down drink after drink after drink after drink and then watch them as they try to walk away from their seat. <laughs> you know, like when they need to go and relieve themselves. <clears throat> they walk as if there is nothing wrong, and yet you can see as they take each step, it seems to be a chore. Yes, it is. You know, the, people are funny, and that's that's the kind of fun thing about not drinking, is you can sit around and you can watch everybody else and just kind of silently giggle. Okay, I do. <laughs> I admit it. And yes, I can silently giggle, for those of you that don't believe that. Now, there were plenty of people surrounding the dance floor, which was about 25 feet away from where this person was sitting. And there were two people, both male, playing pool on what is considered the front table. And there were about 10 to 15 people waiting to play pool. And I could tell by the growing list of names on the board. So, there were two different people checking IDs at the... Wow, this is really detailed. Seriously? Okay. Okay. One at the front door and one at the back entrance. Apparently, people try to sneak in. I know people that do that shit. As a matter of fact, when I was a child, I did that. There's also a DJ, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yes, yes. Oh, Kino's like bingo that you play while eating pancakes at 3 a.m. in a casino restaurant. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's funny. That's funny. Well, you know, if I'm eating pancakes at 3 a.m., I need to really concentrate on the pancakes. <laughs> Just saying. Oops. Okay, so. Um, okay, and then it tells you how to self-teach watching people. I'm Vinny. This is interesting, and yet I'm I'm getting bored with it. Do I need to? I should, I will, I'll go into this next section. You should make sure to teach yourself how to watch people. Okay, I don't know that I ever taught myself. I just do it. That's just one of those natural things. Apparently they were able to see many different facial expressions. Yes, you can. The object is to understand from a distance what exactly was being said, even using a very limited ability of reading lips. I don't know. I focus on the eyes. Now the main idea is to look at the body language so as to discern their intentions. And when you look at someone's eyes, uh -huh, see how they move their eyes and how well they pay attention to their own surroundings. So it's impressive to see how many women talk to a lot of guys, but the guys are not paying attention to them. 
only making eye contact at specific points of the conversation, but still look around themselves at others. Yeah, that's a guy thing in a bar. That's, seriously, it is a guy thing at a bar. Okay, I'm going to scroll down too. So, looking for seeking truth, because, yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, the point of this article, in case you missed it, in case I missed it, because I'm obviously getting bored with it, I'm scrolling, is uh, to get you to recognize more. I understand that, yes, your eyes are open, but what exactly are you learning? It's important to learn whatever you can so that you can better protect yourself against outside threats. Actually, it's better to learn all that you can by observing people so that you know how to deal with people better. It's not necessarily protecting yourself against outside threats. It's learning to deal with others. Apparently, this person says that they are, uh, can, this can also protect your life via those who choose to abuse you on a mental or emotional level. You know, sometimes those that abuse you on a mental or emotional level are so very good, and they are people watchers, and they know how to manipulate, and they know how to play this body language game, which is why you need to just pay attention. <clears throat> Apparently, the easiest way to deal with people like that is through the use of your senses and to understand a tool you already use consistently called selective hearing. <laughs> I don't have that. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm -mm. No. Yeah. Yeah. My mother would disagree. Now, almost every person this person has ever run into has selective hearing and selective learning. And they do this without even realizing that they're doing it. And it's odd because you cannot stop yourself from doing it because you are unaware that it's happening. Hmm. So, all in all, the message is one of clarity and understanding. If you make the decision to cut off the learning process to understanding your life and become content, then you are most likely to also cut yourself off from the rest of the world. And there is an understanding of life, but you must be open to it. Otherwise, you never accept full control of your life. Thus, you struggle. Well, honey, I appreciate your perception and your perspective. But, um, hmm. Hmm. All righty. I'm not real sure that I was, hmm. Thank you, Vinny. I, I admit I am a people watcher, but this was mm, this was a little bit more detailed and in-depth and, and mm, didn't really feel feel. And maybe maybe I'm just not recognizing those things in me. Maybe, maybe. Yes, bipolar people are a challenge. Um Yes, it is. It's off to pig time. What is that, Grimmy? What? They said cannabis is poison. Oh, my Lord! As they fed their children McDonald's on the way to get their flu shots. Yeah. That's a good one, Grim. That's a good one. I like that. I do think it is time to go to the pig, though. You're right, Frumpy. It is pig time. And I clicked on the wrong little icon. Damn it. I hate when that happens. There. That's the one I wanted to go to. Over here on PIGazette.com where Hambo and Porcus reign supreme. Why? Because they're the only ones that do the writing over here. That's why. And because they're crazy. They're crazy, I tell you. Their word of the day. What's that, Grimmy? Oh, yeah, you watch people in disgusted amusement. A lot of times I am quite amused by people. And then there are times when it's like, holy carp. What the, what the hell ever made you think that was a good idea to try? You know? Um, but, yeah. Yeah. People are fascinating creatures, though, to watch. I'd, I'm getting in, in my elder age. <laughs> As I get a little bit older, 
I have realized you do not have to interact with all of them. Sometimes I do because it's like, I just, I just have to know, inquiring minds time, you know? I just have to ask them, whatever made you do that? Because that looked stupid just from, just from watching you prep for it. But what made you do that? You thought that was a good idea. Alrighty then. Which, you know, I learned from others that way. I learned from their mistakes. And so I don't have to go forth and do the same thing. <laughs> but then there are other people that it's like, aw, aw, isn't that cute? So, mm -hmm, yeah. I'm, but yeah, don't, yeah. I, I've, I've spent most of my working life dealing with the general public and the general public can be obnoxious as hell. So, you know, I'm to the point now where it's like, if I have to deal with the general public, it will be on my terms. In any case, back to the pig. Their word of the day is reparations. <laughs> Good God almighty. It's a demand for payment for things that happened to somebody else from people who weren't even alive at the time. Yeah, I don't think most of us that, that would have to pay these reparations, although <laughs> good luck getting it out of me, um, <clears throat> most of us weren't even a twinkle in the eye of the, well, our parents, maybe even our grandparents weren't even a twinkle in the eye of, of those that supposedly did such nasty things. Although if you actually look back in his story, there's a story out there for every damn race to have been abused and used as slaves. So I maybe everybody owes everybody reparations. And I tell you what, how about we just have a group hug and call it even? <laughs> no groping. I, I, I'm not getting in the group that Joe Biden's in. Sorry. I just, just can't. He, him and Shitlery can be off in a corner and they can do their group hugging all they want. I'm staying as far away from them two as possible. So, in the quotable quote section, political correctness does not legislate tolerance. It's only organized hatred. Ah, that's from Jacques Barzun. Yes, it is organized hatred. And political correctness is, yeah, that is um, controlling your speech and your thoughts. And it's just plain... Good luck with that. Seriously. Okay. Do I want to do the tasty tidbits? No. No. I don't. At least not right now. Okay. Maybe I will. I'll do a few. I'll do a few of them. These are Independence Day groaners. The question. What would you get if you cross the first signer of the Declaration of Independence with a rooster? A John hancock a doodle do. <laughs> But um bum bum. What quacks has webbed feet and betrays his country? Benedict Arnold. Oh Lord, guys, where'd you find these? What protests by a group of dogs occurred in 1773? <laughs> the Boston Flea Party. Okay, I'm scrolling down to this date in history because wow, those are like even my grandchildren would look at me and roll their eyes and say, "Geez, Grams, geez." Okay, so this date in history, the 3rd of July, 1941. Uh, Media Blight Daily Double, Part 1. Media Slut Gloria Lady in Red, All Red, Born. First action is to sue doctor for sexual harassment after spank of life. I think he spanked the wrong end. And lastly, the 3rd of July, 1943, Geraldo, a media legend in his own mind, Rivera, Jerry Rivers, <laughs> yes, Jerry Rivers, my mother was living in Phoenix when he was starting up, and he was Jerry Rivers. He stains humanity's shorts for the first time, Media Blight Daily Double complete. Yeah, that is a Media Blight Daily Double. Thanks, guys. Okay, so they have another one here. 32 Strange Things to Get Your Mind Off Politics. Ah, oh, did you know a rat can last longer without water than a camel? I did not know that. 
Your stomach has to produce a new layer of mucus every two weeks or it will digest itself. Cool. And the dot over the letter I is called a tittle. Don't be pervy, you guys. Um, a raisin dropped in a glass of fresh champagne will bounce up and down continuously from the bottom of the glass to the top. I don't like champagne, so I'm never going to attempt that. Number five, a female ferret will die if it goes into heat and cannot find a mate. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Please do not let us run low on... Oh, well... I don't know, is there a ferret overpopulation thing going on? There's black-footed ferrets out here that got introduced to the area, and wow, <laughs> that was not a smart move. So maybe if we kind of run low on male ferrets for that one. Number six, a duck's quack does an echo. No one knows why. Wow, that now that is cool. Now I want to go and find a duck and and put it in like an echo chamber and see if it'll it's quackle echo. <laughs> I'm weird. I know. Did you know a two by four is really one and a half by three and a half? Yes, I did. I have done lots of remodeling in my day and construction and decon and destruction as well. So I know that about two by fours. And you, it's a you play hell trying to find a straight one these days. Good lord, you just plain can't buy good wood no more. I'm talking about lumber, guys. Number eight, during the chariot scene in Ben-Hur, a small red car can be seen in the distance. And Heston's wearing a watch. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't want to watch Ben-Hur bad enough to check that out. <laughs> Somebody else do that for me, please. Number nine, on average, 12 newborns will be given to the wrong parents daily. Ah, wow. That's messed up. I wonder how old... Wow, that's just messed up. Number 10. Donald Duck comics were banned from Finland because he doesn't wear pants. <laughs> that's just quacked. That's just all there is to it. Number 11. Because metal was scarce, the Oscars given out during World War II were made of wood. <laughs> he got Oscar wood. Deed. Number 12, the number of possible ways of playing the first four moves per side in a game of chess is, wow, is that three, okay, 318,907, no, that's wrong, 318 billion, Wow. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Cool. I haven't played chess in forever. Number 13. There are no words in the dictionary that rhyme with orange, purple, or silver. Sweet! How fun is that? That's a trivia thing, Grim. That's a trivia. Just saying. Put that in the trivia thing over there in RLM. Number 14. The name Wendy was made up for the book Peter Pan. There was never a recorded Wendy before that. Huh. Very interesting. Number 15. The first, the very first bomb dropped by the Allies on Berlin in World War II killed the only elephant in the Berlin Zoo. Collateral damage. That's what they called it. They were talking, you know, they were wanting to get rid of the elephant in the room. <laughs> so nobody would notice. Number 16. If one places a tiny amount of liquor on a scorpion, it will instantly go mad and sting itself to death. Yeah, and in parentheses, it said, who is a sadist who discovered this? I would like to know, too, because I don't want to get that close to a scorpion. Sorry. Number 17. Bruce Lee was so fast that they actually had to slow film down so that you could see his moves. That's the opposite of the norm, which, yeah, that doesn't surprise me one dang bit. Number 18, the first CD pressed in the U.S. was Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Wow, and I don't have it. Darn, I feel bad. Not. Number 19, the original name for Butterfly was Flutterby. 
Oh, how cool, because that's what I call them all the time. I call them flutterbys because they just flutter right on by. Why did you change it? Because they're not made of butter. Butter, they don't look like butter flying. I've seen butter flying, seriously, because, you know, walking across the room, tripping over a dog, and the butter goes flying. Flutterby. Turn it back. I like flutterby much better. Number 20. The phrase rule of thumb is derived from an old English law which stated that you couldn't beat your wife with anything wider than your thumb. Th I wondered where that came from. Do remember a couple weeks back, I wondered about that. I, well, I got lost, too. Number 21. The first product Motorola started to develop was a record player for automobiles. <laughs> At that time, the most known player on the market was Victrola. So they called themselves Motorola. Wow. You d d wow. Because I'm just trying to imagine how you would listen to a record def you know, if you're driving down a gravel road. Because we have lots of those out here in the boonies. Gravel roads. You know. Number 22. Roses may be red, but violets are indeed violet. Yes, they are. My mother's yard has violets, and yes, they are. Number 23, by raising your legs slowly and lying on your back, you cannot sink into quicksand. <laughs> Middle image, sorry. <laughs> Number 24, celery has negative calories, and it takes more calories to eat a piece of celery than the celery has in it to begin with. Also, celery is called your your rectal toothbrush. <laughs> Seriously, there are people that call because it cleans your colon out. <clears throat> Moving along. Number 25, Charlie Chaplin once won third prize in the Charlie Chaplin Lookalike Contest. <laughs> Oh, that's priceless. That is priceless. Damn. I wonder if Elvis ever got into an Elvis contest and, and lost. <laughs> Inquiring minds time. I'm going to have to search for that sometime when I have time to do frivolous. I'll probably look it up anyway. Number 26. Chewing gum while peeling onions will keep you from crying. Also having a matchstick in your mouth. You know a wooden matchstick have the part that you light outside of your mouth. Having that in your mouth will also help. Um, I learned that when I worked and I was a lunch lady at school when my children were very, very small. So yeah. <laughs> That, that may explain quite a few things for some of you. Uh, number 27, Sherlock Holmes never said elementary, my dear Watson. You know, I've read all of the Sherlock Holmes books, and I, I think that's correct. Number 28, an old law in Bellingham, Washington made it illegal for women to take more than three steps backwards while dancing. Wow. They'll make laws about anything, won't they? Some bitch. Number 29. The glue on Israeli postage is certified kosher. <laughs> Talk about picky, picky, picky. Number 30. The Guinness Book of Records holds the record for being the book most often stolen from public libraries. That doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, I'll bet you the Bible's the one that's returned the most. In case, <clears throat> number 31, astronauts are not allowed to eat beans before they go into space because passing wind in a spacesuit damages them. <laughs> besides, besides the fact that you're caught with that noxious aroma in your, you just don't want to go there. And finally, number 32, bats always turn left when exiting a cave. I wonder who sat there and and looked at that's that's probably one of those like like the thing about cows always face north whatever east and west when they're eating and I was just so darn curious about that that I went you know and intentionally watched when I was driving back and forth from work and and the cows that were in the field just as I as you come out of town no they didn't care 
They they was facing willy nilly. They was rebel cows. They was rebels. Oh well, that's over there on pigazette.com. Come on over and say hey to Hambo and Porkus. Tell them Grammy sent you and listen to them squeal. Because, yeah, they're probably going, oh, God, that woman is still on the air. Jeez. Thought she they'd kicked her off by now. Oh, well. So what's going on in the chitty chat? Chitty chat. Oh. Ooh, you got a scorpion and a trap in the shed? Yikes. A mock chicken leg lunch lady. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Grim. <laughs> Grim says that's why he can never be an astronaut. Huh? I couldn't either. <laughs> that's a fuel for my rocket chair. Um. And and what I think somebody has puked or sneezed on the, and it's like ooh you got little snot globs floating all over. Al although I don't really believe that the space station is up there. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't believe in satellites. I don't believe in space stations. I don't believe in astronauts. Um. I don't believe in any of I don't believe anything, anything that NASA puts out anymore. They have lied entirely too many times and so therefore this old broad says, Yeah. Nope, I ain't going there. Um Oh Frumpy says he saw his first dragonfly and hopes they make babies and eat all the skeeters. We've got some dragonflies out here as well, and I'm, and I'm wondering if maybe that's not why the skeeter population has declined lately. Although I have been using that skeeter stuff, the, the essential oils mosquito recipe, and that helps a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Um... The fat earth has no vacuum. Well, what happened to Hoover or Eureka? <laughs> fat earth. I don't, I don't know what shape the world is in other except for mentally, spiritually, it's pretty messed up. Um, other than that, I have no freaking clue. I will never know. At least not in this physical body because I don't plan on going up high enough to be able to see. All I know is we have been bullshitted to. They, we have been bullshitted to. So, let's see. Do I have somewhere else I want to go to right quick here? Just to... Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. I got so many cool things in my pocket. It's like... Dude, seriously? Like this anti-inflammatory coconut and sweet potato muffins with ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, and maple syrple. Yum. I'm going to have to make some because I have all of those ingredients. Oh, here you go from Real Pharmacy. You know what? Seeing as how you said something about that. Um, Frumpy. Mosquito control. Ten plants that attract mosquito-eating dragonflies. So if you wish to have... More dragonflies in your yard, Frumpy. Here's the 10 plants that you need to have. You need to have black-eyed Susans, which my mother has. Swamp milkweed, which I don't know that we will have that because we are in an arid area. Uh, Joe pie weed. Um, oh, it produces pale pink flowers at the end of the summer. That's Joe pie weed. Uh, meadow sage. Uh, white yarrow. And let's see, arrowhead, okay, or a duck potato. <laughs> okay, these are apparently in pond and shoreline plants. Uh, wild celery, which you need to be careful of wild celery because it can make you sick. Uh, water horsetail, cattail, and water lily, which, you know, mosquitoes do like to... That's where they lay their eggs and where they propagate and where they start going crazy is in those pond and shoreline areas. So, yes. 
Now me, I can do the Black Eyed Susans, the Swamp Milkweed, the Joe Pie Weed, the Meadow Sage, and the White Yarrow because, yeah, those will grow in my area. So, cool, 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 cool. Here you go, Frumpy, since you brought it up. What is that? God did it easier to understand than fundamental physics and chemistry. What? Okay, what are you talking what are you guys talking about? No more bugs hitting car windows. Really? Okay. What? The rotation of the earth really makes a day. Duh. Oh, and well then, says that the universe revolves around him. The earth is flat, the f uh, fundament is fixed, and all mathematics is a farce. <laughs> and I don't know that so much that... Um, uh, Rob's, Rob Works posted one yesterday that didn't mention the plants. Ah, well, there you go. I just po I posted it for you. I believe, I believe, uh, there's very little that I really believe anymore, because there's a little bit, there's a little lie in every belief, seriously, look at it, R write the word down, there's a little lie in every belief, I either think things, or I know things, or I do not know things, I no longer believe, be live, because there is a lie in there, what did Barman do this time? Um, you do realize there are many scientists that disagree. What? Whatever. Whatever. And then there's Metallica. All right, Woody. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Do I have one more thing? Let me look and see what I got in my pocket. One more quickie. Find you one more quickie. Oh, I already did the belly button thing. <laughs> um, I did that one. I did that one. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Oh, eight. Here we go. Here's another one. Eight non-cannabis plants that contain therapeutic cannabinoids. This is from LiveLoveFruit.com. I'll just give you these as well. So, number one is echinacea, which echinacea is very good for you to have, you know, if you're starting to feel like you're coming down with a cold or a flu or whatever, get you some echinacea. I actually have echinacea seed to, to tend to that. Black pepper is another one that uh, contains high levels of uh, terpene called beta, okay, BCP. There you go. Flax seeds. I also have some flax seeds here. So, hey, hey, got can cannabinoidal-like compounds very similar to CBD. Cacao also has, um, oh, it gives you a giant dose of magnesium as well. Ah, sweet. Black truffles. Black truffles. Uh, you know, I, mm, no, they just don't look appetizing at all. Uh, number six is liverwort. That looks weird. That's what that looks. Apparently it's a plant that's indigenous to New Zealand. So I'm probably not going to have that around. Oh, and helchrysium, which I do have some helchrysium essential oil, and that is one of the more expensive essential oils to have. I have one bottle because it's one of the more expensive ones to have. But um, apparently it's a daisy native to South America with a strong mood stabilizing and antidepressant properties. We also have Chinese Labrador. The Chinese Labrador is Labrador even. Who remembers that movie? Huh? <laughs> All you Chi Jin Chong fans out there, go ahead and share this one as well. There you go. 
I suppose I'm going to quit dilly-dallying because I do have a few things that I need to tend to. So, uh, let me go see what's coming up later on the R, L, and M. Scroll down here, pull up the the schedule, and the schedule says, survey says, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 20% off with Flash Somebody. And then Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, we got the Ponder Gander with Vinny going on here on the RLM. I will be back Friday evening, regular batty time, for the 7 p.m. Eastern, for those of you that don't know the batty time, for Grammy's Rocket Chair on a Freaker Friday evening. And later on Friday evening, you will also have, at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, the Freaker's Ball with Grimner and Moose Goyle. On Saturday at noon, it's a nooner, it's a nooner Eastern time, we got the dork table with Flash Rooney Dork and whoever else he can wrangle into it. On Sunday at noon Eastern time, get your Sunday blues, get a nooner going on with Grimmy on the RLM radio and directly following Grim at 3 p.m. Eastern time is Hal Anthony who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass behind the woodshed then on monday grim's going to be jumping on the radio at 7 p.m eastern time with some leftovers always some a healthy dose of brain food for you and tuesday morning for those of us in the usa Tevin Annie, but, but, but that too 10 a.m eastern time in a perfect world with Vinny and flash so, then, Wednesday is the rocket chair. Now, all through the week, or actually Monday through Friday, we got the Ocelli effect going on on RLM Channel 14 as well. So, all kinds of interesting things going on here on the RLM radios. So, be sure to check back often, because you never know. Because a lot of things are on replay, too. might be able to catch podcasts that you missed earlier. So, in the interim, thank you all for listening in. I hope you have, uh, you got a wart on your liver. (laughs) Of all the gall to have those stones. Good night. I don't know if gallstones are the same or not. Did you mute? I did not mute. Am I not, am I not talking? I'm still talking. I'm still broadcasting. Oh, well. I am out of here because I'm I'm going to run over. So thank you all for listening in on this wacka, 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 wacka doodle Wednesday. I'm going to get out of here so I can get outside and get some stuff tended to while it is now cooler. And uh, I will catch you on the Redidio on Friday. But until then, uh, be popping in and out on the chat. And please remember, I truly do love you all. And I wish you all. Enough. Good night.